Hey everybody, Jake here, and hope you're having a fantastic day. It's probably going to be our last Magic the Gathering video for quite a while as I shift full gear into Cosmic Eclipse, but I have to get this out there as I think this is just too cool. These are limited edition cross-promotional cards between Magic the Gathering and My Little Pony. Did I really just say that? Yes, I did. Now, I'm definitely not a brony, and I bought four of these boxes. These boxes are currently selling at $50 a box online. I'll keep three sealed, and I'll open one with you guys. You can only get three cards in this box, so it's uber premium. Inside the box, there is a little poster showing all the different artworks. They're actually calling this Magic the Gathering crossover. Ponies the Galloping. This is actually a charity purchase, so if you buy a box for $50, $30 of your proceed goes towards Extra Life and Children's Hospital. Like I said, I bought four of these boxes, and that was actually the limit. Now, the box is actually pretty huge. The display looks very nice, considering you only get three, uh, three cards in a $50 box, but this looks really good. I can almost like have this on a shelf and it might almost look redeemable. <laughs> the fact that it's Magic the Gathering and My Little Pony crossover just is sort of like double jeopardy. If you guys can see right there, all you gotta do is peel the plastic ever so gently up and the card is released. That's a really nice design so that the card actually doesn't get bented or anything like that. So the very first card is Princess Twilight Sparkle. I know almost nothing about My Little Pony, but I do know that I believe she is the main character of My Little Pony. Legendary creature, it's an alicorn. I have no idea what an alicorn is. An alicorn? If someone knows anything about uh, My Little Pony mythos, please let me know if I'm butchering any of this. A flying card for two mana, two two. All other alicorns. Horses, Pegasi, Ponies, and Unicorns you control get plus one plus one. That's a really interesting flavor text. So I don't think these cards are actually playable, but it looks really fantastic. I'm going to actually sleeve up these babies right away because I don't want them to have any chance of having an issue because this might be some of the very first Magic the Gathering cards that we are going to get graded. Oh yeah, looks great. Next up, let's look at the Nightmare Moon card, which might be the coolest card. It looks fantastic. Almost like, I don't know, like a unicorn uh, Pegasus Batman looking card. That one actually looks like it could be a Magic the Gathering card. Nightmare Moon, legendary creature, Alicorn. It also has a little moon holographic symbol right there. All the cards are holographic. I think this one is actually the most expensive of the bunch. On the back, it's actually a double-sided card. So some kind of action on here actually transforms Nightmare Moon into Princess Luna. No idea what Princess Luna is. Never heard of this card in the series or this uh, unicorn, alicorn, whatever it is. I just want to have it. Let's leave her up and move on to the final one. Oh, that's actually pretty nice is that they have their own little design on the box itself. So that's actually pretty cool. All right, come on Rarity, get out there. And for our final card, we have Rarity. Uh, do I know who Rarity is? No, no, can't, can't remember. Princess Twilight Sparkle, that just sounds familiar, but Rarity, I have no idea. I think this one is actually the cheapest of the three. And I can sort of understand why, to me, it definitely looks like the most plain looking. Did the same artist do all three, Andre Rattler? Oh, they actually say promo set number three of three. So, Nightmare Moon is number one of three. Oh, they actually have different artists for each one. So there it is, Rarity, the final three. Oh yeah, they look absolutely beautiful. Now we're gonna send these cards out to get graded, but I hope you guys don't think I'm gonna end the video without opening some packs. So for our very final Magic the Gathering video for quite a while, let's open 
some colored theme packs. I've never opened one of these uh, theme booster packs before, but I like the concept. The idea is that every single card inside of the booster is represented by that color. That'd be something really cool to have in Pokemon too, where, you know, you have a lightning theme booster pack or a steel theme or a fire or water theme. That's a cool idea. For $5, you get 35 cards, which I honestly think is actually kind of expensive considering that some of the more expensive cards you can't even get from this uh, black theme pack, such as Oko, because Oko is not a black card. If we get an Oko, that would be an easy $35 or even more nowadays. I think he's he can go up to like $50, but let's see if we can get some rare black cards. We got Reaper of Night. Forever Young, Reeve Soul, Enchanted Carriage, Lost Legion, Memory Death, lots of common cards, so nothing interesting so far. Tempting Witch, Sir Conrad the Grim, Hengewalker, interesting. Hengewalker is not a black card, so I guess you can get some neutral colors in there too. Malevolent, Cauldron's Gift, Barrow Witches, Min Swordmaster. These do not seem to go in any order. Order of Midnight. Prophet of the Peak. Lockwain Paladin. Forever Young. I believe you can get Mythics and Rares in these, so that's what we're looking for. Roving Keep. Foulmired Knight. Barrow Witches. That's our second one. It's Min Swordmaster. Bell of the Brawl. Memory Theft. Weapons Rack. Lockwain Paladin, lots of duplicates, but I guess that's what you're going to get. Eye Collector, Baked into Pie, Spinning Wheel, Malevolent Noble, Cauldron Familiar, Tempting Witches, where's my rare people? Giant Skewer, for Bowling Fruit. Now we got one card left, and I believe you're guaranteed a rare or mythic, so this last card must be a rare slash mythic. So let's see what we get. And... Garruk Cursed Huntsman, so that's actually super cool. We got ourselves a Mythic as the final card. Garruk, I think you just made our monies back on that pack. So we can actually get cards that are not completely black. So this card is, is actually a black and green card. So I guess you could actually get uh, Oko in these packs, so that's pretty cool. Let's open up the green theme booster next. So. I was pretty bummed out for a little while, but then I saw Garrick and my heart turned around. I'm actually going to really enjoy these, I think. Uh, green actually has some really expensive cards. We got Questing Beast selling for $35, and of course you can always get the $50 Oko. So let's see how our luck works for us. I still think these might not be worth it. If you only get one rare or mythic per pack, then your odds of getting something as good as Garrick is gonna be pretty low. A lot of rares are only worth like, I don't know, a quarter or 15 cents. So you're very unlikely to make your monies back in value from these packs. Out Muscle, if you really want a card, I say just buy it online. Just buy that individual card. Toon Veil Tree Folk, Tall as a Beanstalk, Hinge Walker again, Wolf's Quarry, Fell the Pheasant, Sir Farron the Hinge Hammer, Wild Wood Tracker, Rose Thorn Hallbird. So are these randomized or are they actually like based around a themed? Rose Thorn Acolyte, Edge Wall Innkeeper, Garen Brig Squire, Gingerbread Cabin, Out Muscle again, Lucky Clover. Rose Thorn Halberd, Keeper of Fables, Rose Thorn Acolyte again, Garen Brig Paladin, Garen Brig Squire, let's go faster. Flaxen Intruder, Return to Nature, Bell the Pheasant, Curious Pear, Ken's Rifts, Transformation. I don't think I have this card, so I'm gonna actually have to add that to my binder. Twinvale Tree Folk, Garen Brig Squire, Insatiable Appetite, Curious Pear, Sorcerer's Broom. Here is Paragon, and our final card is gonna be our rare slash mythic. So let's give it a little bit of a peek. Uh, that does not look like a good card. It's a rare card. I have no idea what that artwork is. And it's Wicked Wolf. Wicked Wolf, hmm. 
I think this card's actually playable in the Oko deck, so he might be worth something, or not. Who really knows with these rares? Uh, the prices of Throne of Eldrin has really plummeted recently. Three, two, one, mark. Next up, let's open up the white color theme booster pack. So each one of these costs exactly $5. I know I already said that, but since they're focused around a color, I would actually recommend that you purchase blue or green if you really want to get something cool because the cards in blue and greens are just more expensive. There aren't any really out there expensive cards for white, I don't think. So it's very unlikely that we're gonna get something cool in here. But let's see if our luck helps. True Love's Kiss, Art and Veil Paladin. I've been very lucky recently with a lot of amazing pulls, pulls so you never know. Outflank, Righteousness, Beloved Princess, Knight of the Keep, Crashing Drawbridge, Sir Alan the Lion's Claw. So there does seem to be some kind of like knight theme with the white color. All that glitters. Flutter Fox, Ginger Brute, Flutter Fox, Fortifying Provision, Archon of Absolution, Beloved Princess, Shining Armor, Barter Cow, Shepherd of the Flock, Prize Griffin, Silver Flame Ritual, True Love's Kiss, Weapons Rex. So I have heard that you can get uh, more than one rare mythics in these packs. Because, you know, you're getting 35 cards, it'd be kind of weird if you only get one rare mythic. Because normally a pack is 15 cards and you're already guaranteed a rare mythic. Alright, we're already there near the end, so this final card is going to be... Oh, ooh, ooh, that's an interesting artwork. That's our rare right there. It's our rare. 3, 2, 1. And it's Lyddon, the Steadfast Queen. I actually do not have Lyddon yet. So, Legendary Creature, Human Noble, actually can be playable as a Commander Legendary Creature. Very cool. Glad to have her because we I don't think we have Linden yet, so another one for the collection. Alright, on to the red theme deck or booster pack. I mean, it's so thick, you're getting yourself 35 cards, so you might as well be opening up a deck in itself. With 35 cards, this is probably going to be aggro. Red is a very aggressive color in Magic. So let's see what we have. Ember, Shieldbreaker, Henchwalker, third one already, Merchant of the Veil, Witch's Oven, Thrill of Possibility, Blood Haze Wolverine, Mad Ratter, Mad Ratter, Raging Red Cap, Weaselback Rat Caps, some Red Caps, whatever that they are, Barge In, Ferocity of the Wilds, Seven Doors, Brimstone Trebuchet, Red Cap Raiders, so we got a lot of Red Cap cards, Ogre Errant, Sir Kara the Bold, I think you actually get a, um, a legendary knight in every single theme pack, so that's pretty cool. I mean, we've gotten one in every one of them so far. Fling, Scorching Dragonfire, Rimrock Knight, Ember of Paladin, Raging Redcap, Skull Knocker Ogre, Ogre Errant, Brimstone Trebuchet, Burning Yard Trainer, Weaselback Redcap, Rimrock Knight, Joust, throw a possibility, come on, come on. Show me something good. Clockwork Servant, and we're on to our final one. What is it? Is it a rare or mythic? It's a rare. Uh, is it one of the castle? I think it's a land. It is. Castle Embrith, land. Actually, one of the better pulls, even if it's not very expensive. Last but not least, let's open up blue. Come on, baby, I can still get that Oko and make our monies back. Cause so far, we spent around $20 for these booster packs and we have not made $25 worth of value back. So we're gonna need to break even at least from this last one. All right. I wonder if you can get holographic cards from these. We haven't seen anything. Uh, Queen of Ice, Charm Sleep, Mystical Dispute, so tiny. The names for some of these cards, oh, run away together. Vantress Paladin, and there's our legendary human knight, Sir Eleonora, the discerning, unexplained vision. Scaldron Cauldron, Enchanted Carriage, 
Didn't Say Please, Witching Well, Mystic Sanctuary, Vantress Paladin, Corridor Monitor, Queen of Ice, Sage of the Falls. We do not have a Sage of the Falls yet, so I'm going to have to put this one to the side and add it to the collection. Opt. Mantle of Tides, Prophet of the Peak, Miss Ford River Turtle, Run Away Together, Run Away, Turn Into a Pumpkin, Mystic Sanctuary, Didn't Say Please, A Lot of Fairy Cards, More Fairy Cards, Some Owls, Some More Fairies, Some Merfolks, A Weapons Rack, Hey, Are We There? Yes, We're There. So, Let's See What We Get. Come On Baby, I, got want, I Want That Oko. That's not Oko. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. False alarm. We still have one more card to go. Spinning wheel. Hiding our super expensive card in the back, maybe. Something that I don't have yet, maybe. Let's see. It's a rare. That's a bad sign. I was really hoping for a mythic. So let's see what it is. It is midnight clock. All right, everyone, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, then please do subscribe as it really does help me out. Garrick was really the best card that we got, so I'm definitely going to sleeve him up first. And I will see you all next time, and I hope you're ready for some serious Cosmic Eclipse actions because that's what's coming up next. See you all next time. Thank you.